Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Android SQLite database tutorial for beginners. And in this video, we will see how we can update data in SQLite database using our Android app. Till now, we have seen how to insert data into the SQLite database and how to view it. And let's add one more button here. And this button we are going to use to update the data. So I'm going to change the name as update. And one more thing uh, we want to do is, if you remember, our database table contains four columns. First one was ID. Second one was name, surname, and the mark scored by the student, right? And to update the data, we need a unique reference of the row so that we can uh, you know tell SQLite that we want to delete the data from this row particular row right because names can be same so if you want to uh, change the name of one person uh, which shares the name with the other person then the data can be changed for both the names if you don't know what is the unique uh, you know row or unique column in this okay so id we have defined as a unique column for this database table so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly add this id uh, text view and uh, you know edit text so that we can enter the id also so now i have added this id added text and uh, text view here right now we are good to go so next thing we will need to do is we need to create a function in our database helper dot java class which we have created in the last videos so let's go to database uh, helper dot java file and in here till now we have created insert data and get all data functions right we will uh, create one more function here and we will call it as uh, update data okay so it will be public and it will return boolean so we need to know if the data is really updated or not so we are going to return boolean and we say this uh, function name is update data okay arguments it's going to take is it's going to take four arguments first argument we are going to pass here will be string id second is the string name so basically i want to uh, pass all the four column data to it because our table contains four columns id name surname and marks right so I'm going, I'm going to pass all the four column data. I'm going to take it from edit text and pass it in this function, right? Now in here, what we are going to do is as we have done in the insert data function, first of all, we will create a SQLite database instance. So I'm going to copy this from here to here. And second, we are going to create an instance of content value, okay? So let's create that and then as we have done in this uh, insert data function that we were putting whatever data is passed from the argument to this content content value using put right so let's do it and one more column we need to add here and this will be for column one right this will be column one and it's id in our case right because this contains extra id here now the only difference in this function and the insert data function is the method we are going to use now so just take your database instance now and then call update here and this update will update your data whatever argument you pass here first argument it takes is the name of your table okay so give the name of your table this is our table name if you remember we have declared table name here right 
so first argument is the table name right second is the content value so it takes second argument as content value so we take this instance of content value and pass it here third argument is the condition which we want to pass here so what we want to do we want to update data on the basis of for example id because id is our unique primary key here and on the basis of primary key we can uh, differentiate data so in here we will write id is equal to question so we will uh, you know uh, ask whatever id is passed using this id parameter we are going to query this and fourth is the value on the basis of which we want to update our data so this is the column name on the basis of uh, uh, which we want to update the data and our column name is id so you can just write here column name id is equal to question mark and then in here fourth argument let's go inside this update so just hover over control and click and see it takes the fourth argument as the string array right so we will go back and pass string array here right so we can just write here in the curly braces we just pass our id and we want to pass the new instance of it so new string id okay and if everything goes well we want to return return true to know that if uh, the data is really updated or not now uh, this is done so what we are going to do is we are going to move to our main activity dot java file and in here we will uh, declare one more button variable which will be our button for updating so button update okay and then we are going to uh, take this button instance and we will uh, cast it as a button using the id so the id of this button is button itself right now so let's change the id to button underscore update or something like this button underscore update so we know that this button is for update right then we will go to main activity java we already have declared our button for updating so take this button go to your on create method where you have uh, type casted all other uh, tools or widgets is equal to button so we have done casting uh, this button and now we are going to create a function and uh, this function will be public i'm going to declare this function here itself void update data for example it's not going to take any argument and inside this function what we are going to do is we are going to take this button and call set on click listener on it so dot set on click listener and inside this new on click listener and inside this we just need to uh, call our update function from our database helper so this was update function the name was a little bit wrong so let's update make it update function right and now what we are going to do is in our main activity.java file inside this on click method we will declare a boolean to check if the data is updated and we will name it as is updated is equal to and now we are going to take our my database uh, instance which we have created in our previous videos from our database helper class right so my db dot update data and now this update data function takes four argument as we know id name surname and age right and uh, in here we need to declare one more added text variable for id 
because we have uh, created a, this new added text here which is added text id so let's create uh, one more variable for added text in our main activity.java file so let's add for example added text for id okay and then we take this added text and add to our on create method and we will cast it same as we have done for other added text in the previous videos but the id here will be for added text id right so added text id right and now we can take this added text id and pass it in our update data method here dot get text right so it will take the text from the edit text and it will pass to this function same we will do for all our other added text which was for name surname and marks and the reason why it's showing error because we need to convert this get text to strings right so dot to string okay add this to other variables also so basically what we have done we have called our update data function and we have passed whatever we are getting from edit text right now if this function returns true which is update data then so we will check if up is update is equal to true then what we are going to do we are going to show some message right so we can uh, take these messages from our last video by the way in the last video i forgot to give this double equal to so when we are checking equality we need double equal to or single equal to we need in case of assigning the values right so i'm going to copy these messages from here and i'm going to paste it here okay so now we will say data is updated or data is not updated in case if it returns false data not updated okay now just copy this function and paste it inside our on create method so that it can be called when this on create method is called and now we are ready to run our program so let's run it so now our program is running and we can see when we click this view all button which we have created in the last video that we have uh, two rows of data one is id1 and name is mark and surname is benson and second is tom right for example i want to update the first letter of the name mark i want capital m here instead of small m and same i want to do for uh, this benson here right so what we are going to do we are going to uh, just write the name here so i have corrected the spelling or in the name instead of small m i have uh, added capital m and instead of uh, small b i have added capital b and the other things remain same marks remain same and if you remember the id of this uh, name mark is one this is important here because on the basis of id we are editing the data right and now we can click this update button just click this update and it says data updated okay so let's check the data once again by view all and now you can see the mark name mark with the capital m and the surname benson with capital b so our data is updated successfully right so in this way you can update the data in the escalate database using your android app i hope you have enjoyed this video please recommend and subscribe and bye for now